Hello, what we are going to be doing today is showing how to go and lay down planetary interaction. We are going to be setting up for oxygen. So, once you go and have the planet in view, scan noble gas is what you're after. So, use your slider to find the best concentration. Of the white, which finds the best spots for your gas. I'm going to try to focus it right in here. I'm going to go to build. For the command centers, you can place anywhere on the planet. It does not have to be attached or right beside it. I do try to put it close nearby makes it easier to find your setup. All right, upgrade if you have it up to level 5. We give you full power, full CPU. Submit. Now when it comes to the layout, there are many different uh, configurations you can go and have this set at. Uh, some people do it in a line, some people do it in a star pattern. Uh, if you go in Google, you can go and find several different setups for this. What I do, and you can do it however you like, whatever works out best for you, but what I go and do is a uh, storage facility. I do a line setup. However, with the new changes to this, uh, to PI, that CCP did, uh, it does make life a little bit easier. Now, I'm not exactly sure what kind of yield I'm going to get off the planet. So, the four factories. Uh, you could end up having to add more, you could end up taking away because it's just not producing enough. So these are just played by ear, see how everything goes. I want to connect these up. Alright, and your launch pad out. that in. Submit. As you can see is they are red which means they need attention. There, there's an issue with that so it's going to go and sit that way for a little while because we do not have any product going in there yet. There. All right. We are looking for noble gas, which will go and give us oxygen for fuel blocks. That is one of the components we are making or producing to make the fuel blocks for where we're at. Sit that for two days, three hours. Depending on how you want to go and play this, you can go and have it to where uh, you can set them for every day if you want it, or you can set it for a week. Depends on how much you play and how much attention you want to put to this. This is f fairly semi-passive income. You do have to pay attention to it, but it's not like you're out mining or ratting. And again, however you set these up, it's all up to you. Okay. Yeah, close enough. 
All right, it's set for two days, three hours, extracting noble gas to go and turn into oxygen. Start the extraction. Submit. All right. Now, if you don't check this every day, one of the things you can do is for the extractor, you can split where your items go. You extract. I have two storage items or two storage facilities set right here. What I'm going to do is take the output from the extractor and split between these two structures. Not routed. Create route. Click there. And it is 130,000. 65,000. Create route. Now it is important that you select where you are going to go and send these items first before you start typing in the amount because if you click on this after typing it in it sends it to full. So. Oh, okay. It's easy because we are generating so much coming off there. You have to upgrade the link. Easy enough. Create route. And submit. Now that is handled because you are now splitting. That gets 52%. There we go. What we're going to do next is set up the factories for oxygen. Now it's going to go and in input routes are missing. Yes, because we don't have any items here in the storage facility to go and route to the factory. Click on a select destination. We want to go to our launch pad. Create route. Same thing here. And this is one of the new items that CCP did with the patch a while ago is they completely revamped uh, I won't say completely revamped. They revamped heavily the PI uh, setup. So now, because of this, is you can go. You don't have to go through and so you know scroll through everything. It's automatically selected, which makes setting up so much easier. Okay. Kind of hard to see, but you will see that it had the structure that I have highlighted is white ring, and then around the launch pad is a gold ring. That is the destination that you have set up for it. Once we go and have some product here, I will go and set up the uh, factories to go and begin manufacturing. I will be back to go and continue this here shortly. Okay, what we're going to be doing here is routing the raw materials from this storage facility to these factories. As you can tell, there's a job already going on. I made an error with a previous video, so I have to redo it. We're going to go and select the storage location double click then you will double click here on the factory to which you wanted to route it to and it is simple as wash rinse and repeat for however many factories you want that item routed to and since we already have everything set up for after it's been produced it will ship it right to the launch pad so you can extract it later on. There's nothing else that you have to do but hit submit and you are good to go. There you have it. Setting up a planet of uh, planetary interaction in a nutshell.